Hi everybody, welcome to another CYT live show. So thank you very much for joining me today. Today we're going to be talking about the power of fuck it. Now, a lot of you are kind of, I'll not, I'll not like this. So if you don't like swearing, just turn it off just now. But this has got a serious kind of message to it as well. And I got the inspiration from this from Maria Flynn's One Wise Life show yesterday when, she's, when she was talking about the power of yes. And it kind of gave me an idea about a lot of things I've done in my life and I was using the power of fuck it and I want to give a definition and we want to make this one word so if you're going to share this video share this video first of all but use the hashtag fuck it all one word just use the hashtag we'll see if we can get it going viral as well um, so yeah the definition of this is the psychological state of letting go of the fear that has been holding you back in life and this pertains to anything that you're doing in life, anything at all. So it could be your business, it could be your career, it could be health, it could be relationships, it could be anything at all. So as I said, this is all one word. So we're gonna make up a new word today. The new word is fuck it. It's all one word. And really what we're talking about here is, it's not, because you, you can get different types of the word fuck it. So you've got the demotivational fuck it. So you're kind of giving up and you go, oh, fuck it. I can't do it anymore. You've given up. That's a demotivational fuck it. We're not talking about that. Or you've got the angry fuck it. So, you, so you've got, you're working on a computer, you're trying to design something, you're trying to code something, and you can't quite good and you're just going, oh, fuck it. So yeah, it's not that kind of fuck it either. This is a motivational fuck it. And I'm going to give you some examples here. So the example I'm going to give is doing this post or doing this live show. So I thought, I'm going to talk about this and I thought, oh, should I do this? Because it's kind of swearing, but it's kind of not. It might be funny. People might not see it as funny. People might be offended. And I thought, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. That is the power of fuck it. You let go of the fear. So I let go of the fear of what people may think about me and just kind of, so, okay, I'm going to do this live show. And that's when I said, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. So that is the power of fuck it. And I've done loads of this and I've, I've realised... And the reason I was thinking about it, as I said, this has got a kind of serious idea as well. The reason I was thinking about it is because I've realised in my business life, in my kind of personal life, I've had loads of fucking moments. And my business life, my whole life is made up of fucking moments. The day I decided to give up my job and go to Australia. So back when I was younger, um, I had a, a, a relatively good job. I was only about 19, 20 years old. And I got, had a good job that was paying well at the time and I was invited to go to Australia. I shouldn't have really went, but uh, I was invited to go to Australia and I thought, should I do this? I'm giving up a good job. And I thought, fuck it. And I just went, I went to Australia, I went to Perth, and I couldn't actually, <laughs> I was trying to get a job out there, and the only job I could get out there was selling encyclopedias door to door. And so I came, <laughs> I came home after two and a half weeks. So <clears throat> I'd said goodbye to everybody, I told everybody I loved them. And I said, I'll see you next year, because I had a, a one year's visa to go and work in Australia. I had a one year's visa, but I came back two and a half weeks later. Or it might have been three and a half weeks. But I think I'm just embellishing that. And it was actually two and a half weeks later I came back, because I'd run out of money and I couldn't get a job. Um, but that was one of those kind of big fucking moments as well. And when I was doing, kind of, um, I had a business kind of event that I was thinking about doing as well. So for what your digital formula, I kind of got and um, kind of mentioned on, in the group that I was going to have a lunch down in London because I was down there in a the mastermind, and we were going to have a lunch, and people started kind of messaging in groups saying I'd like to come as well to the lunch. So I invited everybody to lunch. Whoever was in London would we'd meet up for lunch and just have lunch or dinner together. Sorry, dinner, dinner and a drink. So I'd invited everybody um, who was in the London area to come, but then other people from around the world started to message me and said, listen, can I come to this as well? And I'm saying, no, 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 it's only it's only a dinner and a lunch. Don't come all the way from kind of Guatemala or from Canada or from Ireland just to kind of have dinner and a drink. And then I thought, I was speaking to Maria, who is the, the operations manager, and we both kind of went, fuck it, we'll just do an event. It was just one of those things where you thought, I can't do an event. I've never planned, we've never planned it. We've never done an event before. So we kind of conjured up an event from thin air within about, I don't know, four or six weeks. 
or something and it was brilliant but that was one of those fucking moments that really changed my business because we've now because of that one event we've now gone on and we're going to do an event every single year we've got an event coming up this year in Edinburgh <clears throat> as well for YDF Scotland 2017 and that was one of those fucking moments as well we just go oh, fuck it I'm going to do it I'm going to let go of the fear I'm going to expand my comfort zone and just go for it and when you do that when you really can truly honestly say it yourself when you get to that point and fuck it because you, you can lead up to that point lead up to that point as everything's leading up to that point and that point where you just cross the line where you go from non fuck it to fuck it and you cross over the line that's when you let go of the fear and that's when you go say and just say I'm going I'm going for it I'm just going to do it I'm going to let go of the fear I'm going to expand my comfort zone and I'm just going to see what happens because generally fuck it is followed by okay fuck it what is the worst that can happen so when we were doing the event at YDF London 2016 it was a case of fuck it what's the worst that can happen so it's generally followed by that phrase what is the worst that could happen but then you can turn around and say okay what's the best thing that could happen from that fucking moment so this is something that is just I, I don't know why I kind of spoke or thought about this yesterday but there's been a whole load of fucking moments in my kind of business life and my personal life as well and I'm sure you've had loads of kind of moments as well Ipa's saying I don't understand what you're talking about <laughs> you'll get it once you watch it back um, so I'm sure you've got loads of kind of fucking moments in your life as well so I'd like to hear from you if you've had those kind of fucking moments where you went for it and something good has came from it so let me know if you've had one of those kind of fucking moments, I'd love to hear some of your stories as well. And Tammy Hooter is saying, Kim, his new word is fuck it. It is, it's going to be a new word. And this was kind of funny as well, but it's got a serious point too as well. Because this is a genuine kind of thing. People think about this or they, they build up a fear so much in their minds. And then they come to a point and they go, I'm going to have to make a decision either way. And they just go fuck it. And they just go for it. And it really releases the fear. It releases that ego side from it and you, you just go for it. You just make everything try and work and just go for it. Um, so I'm going to see if you've got any stories. Um, Donna Normandin, I was in a long distance relationship with someone halfway across the country and I said, fuck it, I'll move out there. <laughs> love it, Donna. Love it. <laughs> uh, I, I love that word. Um, fuck it. It's just, it's for comedic effects as well but it's a, a kind of serious side as well I just love it and I was kind of laughing at myself thinking about doing the show as well I thought this is either going to really work or it's really not going to work but I thought fuck it just go for it um, um, Sher Shermila Shermila I probably had but didn't realise how effective it was effective it was until now excellent so I'd love to hear some of your stories um, Kimberly D. Man, I think and say it all the time I am living this right now, Kimberly Marie. Um, Judy Lasalle is saying letting go of a bad relationship. Um, Jessica McAdam says, um, oh my god, you made my day, love it. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. Um, I'm just thinking. Sandra Marie Mc McKinnon. I spoke at a function which, let, uh, which led to a radio broadcast of what I said bringing awareness to an issue. Excellent. So that was a wee fucking moment for Sandra there as well. Um, Angel D, I had that moment when I left my teaching job to teach my daughter at home. I had a lot of fears, but did it anyway. Brilliant. <clears throat> I love to hear that. So you get to a point where you build up all these fears in your mind, as I said, then you just, you get to a point where you just have to say, fuck it and let go of the fear or you're just not going to do it. And it usually comes to my, that point as well. Um, Stephen, this is from uh, is this from Eva Arsano? Bought my ticket to London before it became an event. I said, "Fuck it, I'm going." Excellent, love that. And, Mar and Eva, sorry, I'm taking it as Eva because um, Eva kind of manages my pages, so it's just come up as me there. Um, yes, yeah, so that was brilliant to see there as well. And if you hadn't had that fucking moment, the the kind of connections we made at that London event as well was just amazing, and just the the energy that we had in that room as well. Jackie Bunton Marsh, oh no, what did I miss? <laughs> they missed quite a wee bit, you need to watch the replay, Jackie. Sean Barrett, joining YDF was one of those moments for me, best decision ever. 
Thanks very much, Sean. Sean is from Shorts of Positivity. You need to check out his page as well. And Sean, I know you kind of had another moment as well when you done a live as well when you had one of those pocket moments, and you done you went and done a kind of live as well. And hopefully that was good for you, and it just kind of expanded your kind of comfort zone as well. Um. Carol Giles Franklin, after my divorce I decided I had to leave Boston and move to California with my two kids. I said, fuck it, I'm leaving to start fresh. <laughs> Just that word. It's a brilliant word, I love it. Um, I'm leaving to start fresh and it was the best decision of my life. I didn't know anyone but I knew it was the right thing to do. Brilliant, and that's the thing as well with the fuck it moments. You just go, I know, you just kind of think what's the worst that can happen but then you think what's the worst that can happen or oh, what's the best that can happen so it's converse, um, conversely. And then something usually, something good usually comes from it, from these kind of fucking moments. When you do it, you push your boundaries and you kind of push it, expand your comfort zone as well. So it's brilliant to see kind of people using the power of fuck it as well. Um, Lies Labanita, I was hesitant to take, all right, I just missed that. I was headed, hesitant to take the law study entrance test after a year living in fear to fail. Fuck it, I have to do it and I pass the test. Brilliant. Well done for you, Lysa. I love that. I love that, totally. Well done to you. Um, Glenda Solomon, I had a moment like that one year ago after 16 years of working at a travel agency, now working for myself. Brilliant. Love that as well. And it's just these moments that people have when they're just going to go, I'm go for it. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens. Because you've only got one shot at this life, so why not have all these fucking moments and just go for it and really get to where you want to go in life. Sometimes you're not going to get there, but at least it starts you on the right road, it starts you on the right path of what you truly want to do. And these fucking moments are crucial. I, I've said that, I don't know how many times I've said that, somebody will need to count how many times I've said that, I just think it's really funny. Um, so this is our new word for today, so we're just collecting stories of people who've had fucking moments. Uh, Maria Flynn, um, oops it was me who posted this, oh sorry uh, Maria. I bought my ticket to London before it became an event. I said, fuck it, I'm going. Excellent, Maria. And what an event it was. What a, a really brilliant event it was. And we connected as well. And we can, I know we connected kind of online and you were kind of working with me um, as well. But we connected so much more because of that fucking moment as well. Because you decided and just said, fuck it, I'm going to go to London. You did it. And it was, it was an amazing, amazing event. And just seeing if there's any others. Chantal Durward, one day a woman in her 70s heard me swear. She tried to make me feel bad. She was not expecting me to say to her, after all these years, you never used that word. The look on her face was priceless. <laughs> Excellent. Um, Kayla Jo, haha, ah, this is killing me, I love it. I don't feel so bad now, haha, ah, we all have those moments. Fuck it and move on. Yes, exactly. We do all have these moments. Might not say fuck it, but essentially that's what it is. Uh, but fuck it just makes it so powerful. It's so much more powerful. Um, i just see if there's any more comments here. Jackie Bontemarsha, what's the replay? This looks like a good one. I'm in the middle of leaving my husband and feeling feel a £250 weight off my shoulders and feel great. I, I'm not going to say that's excellent, Jackie, but obviously if you're feeling that's great, that's brilliant to hear that if you're feeling it's a weight off your shoulders as well. And Melissa Roney, I moved to Mali to be with my then boyfriend and my family was against it. And I just said, fuck it, and today he's my husband. Love it. Love it, Melissa. Uh, that's a brilliant story. I love that as well. Totally love it. Um, let's see if there's any others. Chris Wrigley. I moved to Rhodes for six months, left my job in the UK, and had the best six months of my life. Brilliant. And that's probably changed your life kind of forever. Not just because you moved out there, but because you decided and said, fuck it, and you just went for it. And you just kind of, because you lose the fear in one area of your life, you start to kind of dissipate the power of the fears in other areas of your life as well. So it's not just that one kind of fuck it moment. It has a, a knock-on effect to your, all your other kind of fears that you might have in your life as well. Because you've had the courage, the power, and the, to do something you really, really wanted to do, it gives you so much more confidence as well. And I'll just see if there's any other wee stories here. Um, Tricia Marabalus, sometimes falling or being in a low place um, leads you down a different path. It's taking that chance and asking what's the best thing that can happen. Absolutely. Because a lot of people say, okay, what's the worst thing that can happen? And it's good to know the worst things that can happen.
because you've got a contingency plan because you start to plan out in your head to so say, okay, what's the worst that can happen? And when you ask that question, the worst is usually not as bad as you think it is, but you can make contingency plans for the worst thing happening. But you have to ask on the top of that, okay, now what's the best thing that can happen? And when you ask those things, you kind of get excited about the future. You kind of think, well, that could happen, this could happen. And some unexpected things really happen as for you doing those, kind of having these fucking moments as well. Some things you could never have thought of that have just been fantastic for you. Becca Griffin, that's how I met my fiancé. He had asked me to be his girlfriend. I said, fuck it. And now we're getting married. <laughs> Excellent. Love it. And Chris Drugley, thank you, Steve. Thank you for watching. Chris, I really appreciate it. Um, Melanie Bambridge, great. Haven't missed it. No, you haven't missed it, uh, Melanie. Um, Red PD, after being in USA for 40 years, got divorced two years ago and moved to Italy six months ago. Brilliant. Brilliant. Don Adams Bowen, I quit my job once when we had the opportunity to move closer to my sons. Didn't want to quit my job, but that's when I decided, fuck it, let's just do it. Excellent, Donna. And I know you've had other fuck it moments as well when you've done kind of live shows and that as well. Um, that's just because I've seen you recently doing a kind of couple of lives. So that's brilliant. <clears throat> it's just so, so empowering when you decide in your mind, just go, fuck it, I'm going to do it. But it's empowering, it's motivational, it gives you energy, it gives you drive, it gives you passion, enthusiasm as well to do what you really want to do in life. So I'm going to encourage you to think about the things that you really do want to do in your life or the, the things you want to have in your life that's been held back because of fear in your mind. Try and get to that line where you cross the line, you cross the fucking line and you just go over it, let go of the fear and just do it. Those moments are so powerful, those moments are so empowering in your life and I'd love for you to have, as I said, my life is filled with fucking moments. My life is literally just a big bag of fucking moments. That's really what it is. And this is how I am where I am today. And um, because I've just said fuck it and just went for it. Doing the live show was a big fuck up, fucking moment as well. Because I thought, oh, should I do this? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be good on camera. I don't know if I'm going to be able to talk. Um, I don't, I'm not going to be able to do it without a script. What, what, what do I do? And, I'm just, and then I just said, fuck it. I'm just going to do it. And one day back in March, when I was at a conference, I went live. I just said, fuck it, I'm just going to do it. Went for it. And it's been the best thing ever for the business and for connecting with people as well. And we've connected because of this live show as well. And that was all because of one fucking moment. And this is where we are today with this live show. That is the power of fuck it. So I'd love for you to have all those fucking moments in your life as well. So what I'd ask you to do is share this video with anybody you think is, is going to benefit with the hashtag fuck it and see how far we can get it going because this is a powerful message as well. Although it's quite funny, it's a powerful message as well. It's about letting go of fear and going for it. Really doing what you truly want to do in life. You've got one life, not got that many years on this earth. Why not have loads of fucking moments and just go for it? And with that, I'm going to leave it there just now and say have a brilliant day, whatever you're doing, and hopefully you'll have loads of fucking moments to come. Okay, namaste. Take care. Bye now.